So my first impressions leaving the theater on Black Panther are that it's a solid movie. There were points where I think I kind of felt like, okay, where are we going? But it's a solid movie. I really would say that the big pluses on the movie is that they really did a really clean job of really uh, showing love to their fallen comrade, Chadwick Boseman. Um, so on that side of it, I would say it's like 100%. I think that's totally awesome. I think that totally works. So I think some of the things that maybe you want to bear in mind when you go see it is that it's really, really long. So the movie's really, really long. So you want to expect that. So some people, maybe if your attention span is on the lower side, you might have challenges. I didn't get up one single minute. Um, I knew it was going to be long. I knew that a lot of it would be like emotional interplay I knew that there would be parts of the movie that really were just with the characters dealing with uh, King T'Challa's passing um, if you're not open for that then you're going to have some challenges with the movie I think other things just really off the bat that I would say is that um the writing, I think, was really, really good. Um, I think it was very, very strong. I did, you know, maybe I had some challenges at points because they put in stuff that they've incorporated in the comic. Like one of the Dora Milaje, she has a, she has a girlfriend, which I know is present in the comic. Um, so there, I mean, and then there were other touches where you know, if you really, really look at it, you might be like, oh my God, this is girl power or something like that if you really look at it. But I really, a lot of that stuff, I mention it, but so some of these concepts that some people call quote unquote woke, even though once again, woke really is just being awake, your spirit being awake, able to see the truth of the reality around you some of these concepts that some people maybe they're progressive I just kind of dismiss those things I didn't make them really like hit me in a way where it would really bother me because they were sort of like light touches to be quite honest and then the overarching earthy way that they created or wrote the plot it really hinges around Shuri's relationship with her family. I personally really don't care fundamentally because I think the writing was really, really strong and there, the dynamic interplay between the characters, it worked. So most of the movie for me really, really worked. It made sense. 99% of it was good overall I'm satisfied so I plan to do a deeper breakdown and um, that will either come out potentially today or tomorrow um, I did want to do one of these to just get out some of the fresh things um, I didn't really talk about the synopsis I'll do that later in in the breakdown um, if you liked what you heard, give me a like, subscribe, I'm out.